<laughs> I'm Rian, the BTS crafter, um, and today I'm going to show you how to make this hat, which I think looks quite a bit like Sugar's hat he was wearing at the end of last year. Um, and he's not been seen in since, and I don't know whether it's the hat that Tani peed on. Um, and if it is, good choice on Tani. <laughs> um, so yeah, this hat. Um, it's my first video. Uh, it wasn't going to be my first video. Um, I'd had some other videos in in the pipeline that I wanted to be first, but it's getting warmer, and I feel like like my head is quite warm right now. And so I felt like I needed to get a move on, and I was like, well, let's just make it your first video. Um, so yeah, so I've knitted hats before. Um, I always used looms. Um, and, uh, sorry, I can, I can only literally talk for like a minute before my brain is just like off. Um, yeah, so, um, so the hat. When I looked at the website um, of the brand that the hat is by, uh, it said that it was made with mohair, um, and that was uh, that made sense because some of the pictures I've seen of sugar, it does look kind of fuzzy. Um, so what you will need is some blue mohair wool. Um, I bought this from eBay. Um, I bought uh, four balls for twelve pound. Um, I see I can't seem to find this exact um, mohair wool again um, but there's a lot um, of really similar ones so I will link in down below um, some examples um, that you can buy um, I've seen it especially if you buy it from China it's like two or three pound for a ball you need two balls or a uh, hundred grams of mohair to make the hat uh, for the looms, um, I saw them recently for £10 for a pack in Hobbycraft. Uh, you can get everything on Amazon and eBay, so I'll put in some links below. Um, so yes, yeah, so they're about, a, about £10 for a pack. You get like three or four of the looms of different sizes. You get your tool and you get your uh, needle to finish off with. So for this particular hat, I used this loom, which is the, um, it's not the biggest one, it's the next one down uh, in the pack. Uh, it's about 22, 23 centimetres and it's 36 pegs. It doesn't matter how many pegs um, you use for this one, for this hat. Um, some patterns it does matter whether it's um, an odd or an even number of pegs um, but this doesn't matter um, so I use this one because I've got quite a small head I've got quite a small head and quite small hands not the rest of me um, so usually when I make other hats from uh, non mohair wool sort of uh, more like you know lamb's wool or whatever I use actually use the bigger hoop which is I don't know I think it's like 41 pegs um, because the wool usually has some give and so as you knit around it kind of contracts um, and gets tighter and a bit more elasticated um, but the mohair doesn't it's quite um, it just doesn't have much give in it at all um, so yeah it's pretty pretty rigid um, in terms of wool it just doesn't have much give uh, which can make it a bit tricky to knit with as well because you have to be careful with your tension but as I show you the stitch and how to, to knit it um, we'll, I'll go through all that um, yeah so I'm gonna switch the camera over to above so you can kind of see um, more from my perspective like how to knit it I think that would be more helpful for you um, to see how it's done rather than watching me here um, yeah when I watch um, like uh, loom tutorials on YouTube I always prefer them when they're kind of more from the knitter's perspective and yeah so 
uh, happy knitting guys good luck if you have any questions feel free to um, you know ask away I'm gonna start with um, this yarn that I've already wound round in double because you're gonna use two balls of wool but as you can see uh, the yarn is really it's really thin and kind of stringy um, so even though it's got the fuzzy bits on it it's really thin so it's much much thinner than the usual yarn that I would use so like even this is uh, thinner than what I would normally use to be honest um, but if you can see um, comparatively uh, try and get you closer you can see that that is just this really thin let's try and get it really really thin there we go and then this is kind of so if i try and get them both together um you can kind of see how thin the actual yarn is you have to ignore the fuzzy bits so because that's just whole so what i wanted to do was double them up so knitting both the balls of wool at the same time so um, because I've been practicing to try and get the pattern right um, <laughs> I've undone a few of the hats um, whenever I do them I just um, wrap it around people usually use cards um, but I find uh, it's a takeaway lid from like a takeaway Tupperware um, yeah so I've just wound it around that um, in double so if you look at the yarn I'm going to use there's the two strands and they're together so that's how we're going to do it so we're just going to put them both together like this so you unravel a bit of both of the balls um, and then unravel a bit of both of the balls and then um, yeah just put them together boom like that we're going to just do it as easy as possible this is literally anyone can do this this is the easiest the only thing is it's going to take you a while so um yeah just put netflix on in the background um and get knitting uh so we want to take uh start around by here and we're going to make a loop like this you see so i just put it around my finger and twisted it so you've got this loop and then you want to put this bit through it to make a little or sort of knot that in is my other half would know um, and then we're just going to pop that around there and then when you pull them together they just tighten so that's just to anchor it in place we're going to take this off in a minute so then what we're going to do is we're going to work um, anti-clockwise so from left to right and we're going to go uh, around the back and just hoop it and then onto the next one and around the back and hoop it so this stitch is called an e-wrap we're going to do a double e-wrap you'll see now you can do a triple Don't worry about being quick or just do it however you want um, and the good thing with this as well is this part of the hat is hidden when the hat is finished so you've got a good like two or three hours um, of practice that nobody's gonna see um, so yeah so you, the, by the time you get really good at it that's when you get to see the hat so now we want to keep going around for a second time So we're going to hook, where's my camera to there, and take it over the top. 
and as I take it over the top I usually try and push them down so then I've got room then to wrap around the top again. So hook over and down, hook and over. So this now you can take off, just pull it off and pull the end and it'll come loose and then we want to push it through the other side and then just pull it down so it's on the inside of the hoop. And then we're going to wrap around again and at some point you're going to be really fed up with this because <laughs> this is what it is for a long time. We basically want to knit all of those two balls of wool, the whole thing. just repetitive and there's something kind of nice in repetitive um, in repetitive things so so this is what we've done so far so we've got one two three four five so we've done five um, we've done five rows um, and then we'll see it's probably a bit early to see now to be honest um, if I try and show you I show. I'm very good at this, am I? Where's the camera? <coughs> Bless me. Sorry. I try and show you how. What's the camera? No. I might as well just give up on this, haven't I? <laughs> 